Today we're going to do some static stretching for the hips and hamstring. Pulling up your right knee, hugging it in nice and tight, and then doing some small circles going counterclockwise about five times, and then you're going to switch and go clockwise about five times. You want to make sure the circles are small enough where you are getting some movement without a lot of sort of clicking through the hip. You can go as wide as you can without that. And then pulling in the knee again, really extending that other leg out as far as you can. So pulling the knee in tight, extending the other foot out long. And now grabbing your foot and switching it to the right hand. You want that knee to fall sort of to the side of your ribs. You can extend the other arm out onto the floor to counterbalance you. Keeping that leg bent and just really opening up through the hip. From here, you're going to shift the leg to the front of the ribs a little bit, and you're going to extend, so you're getting a stretch through the hamstring and calf. You can hold your leg wherever you need. If it's too much to grab at the ankle or at the foot, you can always grab a strap, um, a belt or a towel, something that you could put over your foot and hold on to the end so that you're not actually reaching up so high. Each stretch we're gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds. You wanna make sure you take it in some nice deep breaths the entire time. From here, we're going to bend the leg and bring up the other leg. So you're doing a figure four. So your right ankle is on your left knee and that left knee is driving the ankle in and then your right elbow is pushing that right knee out. So you're having a nice stretch through your hip, that right hip, the left leg is just supporting this position, taking nice deep breaths, looking for a six or seven in the stretch. You don't want to dive in too, too deep. And from here, you're going to plant the left foot on the floor and bring the right knee sort of toward the left shoulder, extending that right arm out to the side for some counterbalance. You should feel this one in the glutes. So kind of noodle around a little bit until you feel like your glutes are getting the brunt of the attention. Again, take it in some nice deep breaths. If you feel your hip flexors here, you can just kind of adjust a little bit and try to minimize that feeling in the hip flexors and really focus on the glutes. So now we're gonna go into reverse. So you're going to bring that left foot back up so you're back in that figure four. This should feel a lot more loose now. Uh, you might find that you have more range of motion. Making sure to push that knee out with the right elbow and using the left knee to drive the foot toward you. Taking nice deep breaths, making sure that spine is flat. And then from here, you're going to drop the left foot and extend that leg. We're going back to the hamstring stretch. So the leg is extended in front of the ribs and keeping that leg as straight as you can, but feel free to keep a slight bend in the knee if the extended leg is too much of a stretch. Again, you're looking for about a six or seven in terms of um, sensation. You might find that you get a little bit more this time around. And then from here, you're gonna bend the leg and let that knee slide sort of to the outside of the ribs, extending that left arm to counterbalance you a little bit, keeping the leg bent and really opening up through the groin and the hip. Some nice deep breaths, extending that left leg out, trying to keep the thigh down on the floor as much as possible. So you want to avoid letting that leg pop up. From here, you're gonna go back into that knee hug and now you can pull up the other knee, give yourself a nice big hug and then switching legs. So extending the right leg down to the floor, hugging that left knee, and then we're gonna go into some circles with that leg. So you're gonna go counterclockwise about five times. Again, you're looking for a range of motion that doesn't feel strange in the hips. You want just nice and steady through the hips, nice rotation without a lot of clicking. 
When you've done about five in each direction, you can pull the knee in nice and tight, extending that right leg out as far as you can. And then you're gonna extend that leg, bend the knee, and then let it slide to the outside of the left ribs, extending the right arm out to the side for counterbalance, making sure to keep the right leg glued to the floor and the left knee with a nice deep bend in it. You're sort of pushing down on that foot, so you're getting the knee off to the side of the ribs as much as you can. Nice deep breaths. From here, you're gonna slide the thigh sort of in front of the ribs and extend the leg as much as possible. So we're going for a full hamstring stretch, keeping that right leg glued to the floor. This is a usually an active thing, keeping the legs apart. So making sure that right knee isn't popping up and that you're straightening the left leg as much as possible. Grabbing the foot if you can, or if you need some assistance with a belt or a towel, you can do that. From here, we'll go into our figure four. So you're going to bend the left leg, bring up the right knee so it's pressing against the left ankle, and then use your left elbow to nudge that knee out. So you're really trying to drive the rotation in the hip. Pulling the foot in with the use of the right knee as much as possible. Again, giving yourself some nice deep breaths, taking your time, it's about 20 to 30 seconds per stretch. And from here, you're gonna plant the right foot down on the floor and bring that left knee toward your right shoulder, extending the left arm out for some counterbalance. You wanna make sure you're not twisting too much through the torso, keeping the hips on the floor as much as you can. You should feel this one in the left glutes. If you feel any hip flexors, adjust a little bit so that you can minimize that. Some deep breaths here, holding nice and steady. And when you're ready, you're going to lift that right foot and we'll go back into that figure four. So driving the left knee out with the left elbow and driving the left foot in with the right knee making sure that the spine is nice and flat on the floor. You can also press into the stretch and then release for a couple of seconds and then press back into it and give yourself some options. From here, you can drop the right foot down onto the floor, extend that right leg. We're going back into that hamstring stretch. So this is active between the right and the left leg, making sure the right leg is glued to the floor, straightening the left leg as much as you can. You'll probably feel that you have a little more flexibility this time around. Keeping the spine nice and flat on the floor. The right leg as extended as possible, glued to the floor and the left leg as straight as you can without overstretching. From here, you're gonna bend the knee on the left leg and let that knee come out toward the outside of the ribs, keeping the right arm extended so that you have some counterbalance, sort of pulling that foot down toward the floor on the left side, really opening up through the groin. And when you're ready here, you can bend the knee, Give yourself a nice big hug. Pull up the other knee. And we're gonna do a little thoracic opener. So you're gonna turn to the side, keep the knees stacked, and then open up the arm so that you're reaching back with that top arm. In this case, it's the left arm. And then if you take your right foot and just hook it over your left ankle, you'll feel a little bit more of a stretch through the hip on that left side. Taking super deep breaths into the rib cage allowing that shoulder to fall to the floor, and then lifting that top knee to switch sides. So bending the knees, opening up the T-spine, hooking that bottom foot over the top ankle, letting that shoulder drop to the floor on the right side, breathing into that rib cage so that you get as much of an extension as you can. You might feel this on the outside of the hip, you might feel it through your rib cage, wherever you're tightest is 
where you'll bring your attention. Nice deep breaths. And from here, you're going to unhook the feet, lead with the top knee. Give yourself a nice big hug, pulling both knees in. And now dropping the feet to the floor, you're gonna keep the feet together and let the knees open up. And then just relax here, however long you need. <laughs> 